You're listening to Footscray Live. Welcome everyone, broadcasting live from Footscray City College, you're listening to Footscray Live. My name is Isaac Johns and with me on my panel today I have James and Stanley. This is the Local Beats Show and our special guest today is Nifty. Hi Nifty. Welcome How are to the you show. Isaac? Well, th- very good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you sir. Uh, so we were just listening to They Call Me Bruce by the band Sikanda, which you're a member of. Would you like to ta- start off by telling us a bit about that song, how it was made, what it means to you and the band? Uh, they Call Me Bruce is sort of uh, represents uh, the foundations of Sikanda, which is we have uh, sitar, sax, uh, global beats. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, they started as a duo, uh, my friend The Mystic and uh, Dr. Deep on the beats, um, and I joined later. Mm-hmm. They were originally electronic music with sitar, then we added the saxophone. Since then we've added uh, hip-hop and also some crooning. Um, so we just add uh, elements as we go. So this is an introductory track which introduces where the band uh, established itself in the early days. Mm. So, um, James here, um, do you make a living off of being a musician in the band or do you have a, another job? Yeah, living is, uh, is an interesting uh, definition. So, yeah, I suppose I do have a day job. Um, I work at the music swap shop in Carlton. Go down there for all your secondhand musical needs. <laughs> um, so it's sort of tied in, but um, yeah, I think it's more a vocation and you do it for the love of it. Um, it would be nice if there was more money involved, but most of the money gets ploughed back into the band for mm. creating, recording, expenses and so forth. Um, yeah. And are uh, the other members in a similar situation where they've got their own jobs as well? Well. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, uh, the Mystic, who is the sitar player I work with, um, and Dr. Deep uh, does a show on PBS um, and also is a lecturer. Uh, so, yeah, he makes the big bucks and uh, he's he makes sure that we're all uh, kept in the lifestyle we're accustomed to. Mm. So um, you mentioned earlier that a lot of the funds go back into helping run the band and compose the music. Uh, How does Sikanda compose music? Do you write lyrics before music or vice versa? Do you have a formula or do you just see what flows? Uh, How does the musical process work? Mm. Um, We've evolved it a lot over playing live over like a two or three years Mm -hmm. Um, so the doctor will make some beats and some grooves and usually float that to uh, the mystic and myself and we'll add bits and pieces we'll try it out in a live scenario Um, over the two or three years there was a lot of things that maybe didn't stick Mm -hmm. and now we've sort of narrowed it down to a good hour that we think uh, represents a little bit more of a concise statement. We've added the extra elements which um, make it a little bit more interesting so it's not just instrumental. Mm -hmm. Um, If there are any people listening who want to get into music when they're older, what sort of tips would you have for them to like what to do and what not to do? Oh, we live in an era where you can do the whole lot yourself. You Mm. can play the instruments, you can write the songs, you can record them, you can do your own clips, you can master, you can release it to the internet. Um, There is nothing stopping anybody from doing anything. Um, Different um, tools of the trade of different quality will give you a different, more professional end result and you're always honing your skills but... Basically, you know, you just get some gear, press record, play some stuff, put it out there. Nice. So, um, you know, while we're on the topic of uh, getting into a music career, did you do any courses in university or any subjects in school that helped assist your music career? As a younger person, I tended not to really think too much about it. I um, just enjoyed life and whatever came my way that um, paid the bills, I did. Um, Later on, as I could see, there was uh, more of a uh, demand for it in a professional way and money being involved. I I reinvested some of my time into audio engineering um, at uni. Um, I've done a little bit of music management on the side. Uh, Yeah, so little bits and pieces that I believe have helped along the way. Uh, But, yeah, I didn't really set out to 
be a musician. I just love music and I just play music. So um, I think the love of what you do is the the most fundamentally important thing. Mm. Um, so for the people listening, they've probably heard us say things like Sikander a lot. Uh, that's the name of the band, but where did the name come from? What is its significance? So Dr. Deep is uh, was born in India but travelled the world and lived in lots of different countries as he grew up. Mm-hmm. Um, so Sikanda, I, I'm pretty sure, is an Indian name and it has a reference to cats, mm-hmm. not only little cats like uh, that you would have at home with their bowl of milk, but bigger cats, leopards and tigers and lions and uh, yeah. Uh, you've mentioned the names Dr. Deep, the Mystic. You, you yourself refer to yourself as Nifty. Uh, what inspired these stage names? Oh, a bit of banter and a bit of laugh between yeah. the boys. <laughs> so the Mystic, uh, obviously, uh, being a sitar player, is short for mystical. Yep. And he is a mystical fella. Uh, Dr. Deep uh, is the doctor. He actually is uh, doing uh, a master's in um, hip hop and uh, global music. Wow. Uh, so we call him the doctor. Um, and I'm a little bit nifty. Mm. <laughs> so um, who were your you know, musical idols growing up? Uh, what sort of music did you listen to? Oh, lots and lots of different things. I think uh, everybody on the planet uh, exposes themselves to so many different types of music. Um, quite often uh, we're associated with one or two things that people think that's all we like, but I think we're all quite deep and have very diverse uh, musical tastes. Um, I grew up with punk music. Um, I was there at the birth of uh, the rave electronic music scene, the indie scene and how electronic music combined with real instruments to become a more contemporary type of how we see music today. Um, There was, when I was younger, there was uh, a lot of electronic music being made. Um, Classical jazz, um, I love a lot of jazz. Uh, Yeah, I reckon I've covered most of it. Mm. (laughs) And were there any artists in particular that influenced you and Sikanda to, you know, pursue music? Yeah, no, I think Sikanda is more of an involvement of all of the collective things that we've all listened to. Um, It's not really a let's do this. Um, It more, yeah, uh, it, it, it represents all the things that we all listen to rolled into one and we sort of just let it out as as it comes when we're playing live a lot of the time uh, and they have been reinvested back into our songwriting uh, and they do represent a very broad range of, of musical taste. Mm. Um, Stanley here. Sikanda makes a lot of different types of music. Why do you do this and... Is there like a certain music genre that you prefer to make? No, like I said, I think we're all very happy with, we we play music in any genre. I think it it just, fate takes you to certain points in time and um, this is the type of music that each one of us makes. So if we're in a band with other people, then that music would reflect the the styles and tastes of those people so a real drummer and a bass player would probably lead a band a totally different way uh so yeah you tend more to play with what's available to you in my opinion that's a good thing rather than the false construct of people who go well this is a successfully commercial music genre why don't we make that so why don't we make funk or why don't we make hip-hop or why don't we make dance music um, in my opinion, setting out to do something like that is a little bit uh, not genuine. Um, and I believe when good musicians meet and people who enjoy spending time together, they play music because they love it and they make music that reflects who they are. And that that leads to something that is uh, organic um, and something you can believe in and put your heart and soul into rather than just going, well, hang on a minute. Everyone told us if we played funk, we'd be popular and we'd make money and we'd be living the the dream. Uh, So, yeah, it it needs to be a totally organic process. 
Uh, for those just tuning in, you're listening to the local Beats show on Let's Go Live. And our special guest is Nifty from the local band Sikanda. Um, we were just speaking about uh, how Sikanda has a large, diverse amount of genres. It doesn't really speak, uh, stick to one. Uh, how would you describe um, Sikanda's music? Uh, I suppose it's global electronica uh, with live influences. Um, a band rather than a, like a lot of people think of dance music and DJs as a different thing to a band. Mm. We, we believe we're a band and uh, we, yeah, the, the sax obviously lends a certain style to it um, as does the sitar. But when you hear the hip hop track later as well, it, it can go different ways. Uh, we really enjoy bringing in different uh, influences and different musicians to see where that takes what we do somewhere a little bit different. Mm. So um, I was wondering, uh, when you were younger, did you always have an idea that you wanted to be involved in some sort of music? Yeah, I th- I've always enjoyed performing live. It's, um, it is a, quite a, a big buzz and I really enjoy it. So uh, from a, you know, from that teenage uh, era where you're hanging out with your mates and having fun, having parties and you're always doing something uh, and then for that to go out into pubs and live music venues, yeah, I got a taste for it very early and uh, yeah, I couldn't imagine not doing it. And would you ever want to, you know, take um, Sikander a bit a bit bigger, maybe release an album and go on tour sort of thing? If anyone uh, is out there that was is prepared to uh, fund that, that would be great. Uh, so the two tracks that we're playing today, we're, we're making an EP at the moment. Mm-hmm. We've had a previous track uh, released um, by a label uh, in Sweden. Uh, so we're floating the EP once that's finished out there as well to see if it gets picked up. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're playing a lot of festivals lately and it, um, so any any tours or any f- interest that takes it further would be greatly welcomed you, you never uh, bank on that being something that happens but you create and you hope and yeah anyone that wants to listen to it can uh, motivate us further to take us anywhere that uh, yeah the funds allow mm. yeah um, so you have you mentioned that you've got an EP that you're trying to get out there at the moment, and you did briefly mention that you've done a couple of live performances. Have you got any gigs that are upcoming that listeners might be able to go to and um, view? We're playing a Renaissance Festival on New Year's Eve. Um, that's like a uh, a festival camping week down uh, at the back of Western Port Bay. I'm sure if uh, people Googled that, they'd be able to find tickets for that. Mm-hmm. We're doing our um, third Rainbow Serpent uh, performance at the Playground Stage, Australia Day weekend. Um, we're doing um, Come Together Festival in March, mm-hmm. which is a festival for a really good cause out at Altham uh, Edendale Farm, um, which is nice and local and easy to get to. And that's just a day, so you don't have to commit to like camping out in, uh, in the heat if you're not into that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're also playing a steam funk boat party. The steam funk people are uh, a crew of people who put on a lot of interesting dance events. That's all. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. So, um, you know, I, I was wondering, um, you know, you've been part of uh, Sikanda for a little while now. Uh, how did everybody meet and how was Sikanda created? So the Doctor and the Mystic were playing together uh, at a few different events. The Doctor actually started the band with a few other musicians who haven't, um, haven't stuck. Uh, and then Jeremy and I worked together. He asked me if I wanted to come and play some sax on some tunes, uh, started playing, and, uh, yeah, we haven't looked back. And then we've added uh, Sharov and MQ. And we also have uh, Laura, who uh, uh, does live performance. Uh, she's, a, she's a great dancer, and she does a lot of exotic and uh, interesting uh, dancing with like things like swords and uh, things that light up if we're in a dark environment, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and that also adds an interesting element live as well. Yeah. Uh, what do you love about playing and making music in Sikanda? 
Yeah, I, I just love playing and making music. The thing that I really like about Sikander is that we all have a freedom and trust of each other to just bring what it is that we bring to what we do. Uh, like I said, we evolved it a lot over live performances in bars and clubs, and a lot of that was improvised, uh, and that takes a lot of trust and faith. Uh, and that, to me, that creative process uh, that we allow ourselves to indulge in um, is one of the things that this outfit I've enjoyed more than any other I've played in. Mm. Uh, Nifty, there's um, we're running out of time, so we're going to have to finish up soon. Um, if people wanted to listen to some music by Sikanda, uh, what social media or how would they contact you guys and uh, find some of your music? Yeah, we're on uh, Facebook under Sikanda. Um, can I leave you guys some links as well? Um, I sent through my bi- our bio, mm. but I think I don't have the uh, URLs on there. But probably hit up the Facebook page to yeah. start with right. and go from there. And, um, yeah, I'll leave more details with you guys. Um, and if you can leave it on the on your website, that would be great. Cool. Yeah. Well, that brings our show to end. Thank you for joining us, Nifty. Uh, that was Nifty from the local band Sikanda. My name is Isaac Johns, and I'd like to thank my panel today, James and Stanley. This has been the Local Beats Show on Footscray Live. <laughs>